It's so sad. It's so sad to me. Hearts are heavy in a local community tonight after word spread that a young student and school bus driver were killed in yesterday's crash on the interstate. Thanks for joining us at 6. I'm Ken Rice. And I'm Kim Gable. The school district and bus company are calling this a terrible tragedy. We have team coverage for you tonight. Amy Wattis is hearing from police who are trying to piece together how and why this crash happened. But we're going to start tonight with Chris Hoffman. He's live outside Lincoln Park Performing Arts Charter School with its message to families. Chris. Kim and Ken, they are expressing the dip, deepest sympathies for the loss of life yesterday on I-79. They call it a tragedy today. Grief counselors were on hand to help students and staff through this difficult time. This horrific crash leaves a hole in a school community and a bus company. State police say a 14-year-old girl and a 31-year-old driver were killed. It's so sad. It's so sad to me. It's hard enough that there's a shortage for bus drivers and then such a young bus driver. According to the RJ Roads Transportation Company, the driver had been with the company for several years. Parents at Lincoln Park say it's been a hard 24 hours dealing with the tragedy. We talked about the impact that it was on even the children that weren't injured, just having to witness it and, and the ripple effect of it. The school says in a statement, quote, Today, Lincoln Park Performing Arts Charter School mourns the loss of one of our precious students and a dedicated bus driver. Words cannot express the true gravity of this tragic event. Our heartfelt thoughts and prayers go out to the two families who have lost their loved ones in this terrible tragedy. Parents appreciate the services of the school, but say having the routes on the highways are a bit dangerous. The free busing is great, but it's always a little scary, and you have to deal with that. Now we're also hearing more from the bus company tonight, and that's where our team coverage continues on this investigation. Amy Wash joins us live. Amy, what are they saying this evening? Well, Chris, I spoke to the owner of Rhodes Transit, the bus company transporting those students, and he tells me over the phone that losing one of his own as well as a student is hard to bear. Meantime, state police here in Butler are trying to figure out how this crash happened. It's a tough sight to see a school bus from Rhodes Transit plowed into the back of a tractor trailer on I-79 near 422 in Butler County. The owner of the bus company told me over the phone his drivers are like family and he is devastated to lose one of his own as well as a student. He says it was a tough day at the office, so he brought in grief counselors to help his employees cope. Students from Lincoln Park Performing Arts Charter School in Midland, PA in Beaver County were on board the bus. A 31-year-old driver and a 14-year-old student, a passenger, both died. The school board president says they were on their way home. Meantime, the state police say the investigation into how this crash happened is still unfolding. Upon arrival, there was uh, apparent that there was an impact with a tractor trailer commercial vehicle and a school bus. There were several uh, severe to moderate injuries reported. We're deeply saddened to learn of the events that take, took place. Our thoughts and our prayers are with all those students and our driver who was involved in the accident. The owner of Rhodes also told me his company has been around for nearly 90 years and the driver of the bus had driven for the company for about five to six years. He stresses the buses are checked often by garage inspectors. We looked into the background of the company and the Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration shows they've only had a few minor incidents. Now tonight, UPMC tells me six people went to Children's Hospital with minor injuries and they have since been treated and released by doctors. As for the driver of that tractor trailer, he was not injured. Reporting live in Butler tonight, Amy Wattis, KDK News. All right, Amy, thank you. We continue to learn more about this tragedy as the investigation unfolds. We'll also bring you new developments on CBS in Pittsburgh, where we are always streaming.